Assalamu alaikum. It's beginning to look a lot like Eid. Everywhere you go. Eid. Take a look at the five and ten. Listening once again. Approve, baby. Which baby? What? I've got a baby. A baby oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That works. Darling. Did you just kiss? Sorry. Yeah. Me? No, not you. Oh. It was to the him. The baby. It was to him, yeah. It was just to him. Yeah. There's no one there. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Smile to Jannah. Overacting. What? I thought it was alright. No. Brother, as you know, Christmas is coming up. Really? I was looking forward to the shopping. No, no, no. Just stick with the script, girl. What? Stick with What's the script? script. As you know, Christmas is coming up. Really? I was looking forward to the shopping. No. Stick with the script. And because of Christmas coming up, you got me thinking. How come Muslims don't have a Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one. With his big black beard, he'd probably be called in for random questioning most of the time. Quite random, really. It's really random. It's not written on paper. It's not written on paper. A big black beard. It must be stopped. They get it. They get it. Number two. His sleigh would probably get shot down because they think it's some airborne military attack. From the east. Number three, because the Eid is hardly on the same day for many of us, brothers would probably be sending him back and telling him to come back tomorrow. What was that? Get out. Oh. Get out of the house. Number four, he'd have a tough time convincing brothers to move with him to the North Pole because it's quite cold up there. Brothers love the sun. I like the sun. Number five, he'd probably arrive late most of the time and probably run on to the next day. Probably be caught in the middle of the day just walking around with his presents. Baby. What? Yeah. The what? Presents. Number six. He probably wouldn't have the energy to distribute all those presents because he's tired from fasting for 30 days. Yeah. Number seven. He'd probably be caught praying salah on someone's roof while he's delivering his presents. Or you, get off my roof. Number eight. Because of all that technology he's got in the North Pole, Certain people would probably try to spread democracy there and bomb them back to the Ice Age. <laughs> Can't say that. What? Can't say those things. It's true. Oh, YouTube, I'm a married man. Number nine. Because of that big black beard, he'd probably be called backwards a creep or a terrorist. Weirdo. Take your pick. Uh, crazy guy. That wasn't one of the three. <laughs> Number ten. Number ten. Ten. We'd probably... <laughs> We'd probably be called idiots for inventing such a ludicrous and ridiculous Us lie idiots. just to put kids to sleep and sell Coca-Cola. It's bad for your health. Too much sugar. It's beginning to look a lot like Eid. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Welcome to Salam. <laughs> a bird goes on his face. Get lost in his beard. Oh! -ho. <laughs> this is the script. Hi. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just I like, just like doing it because you're, you're in that mode and I break that mode and it feels so good. Is this angle good or do you think the other angle is better? No, the other is grand, grandpa angle, yeah. What was number four? Someone's coming. Old man. Old man. <laughs> hey, we all have to turn old one day. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's enough for today. Finally got Faizan back in the video. Forced Took a lot of convincing. He forced me, he put my son in ransom. Can I have my son please? Let me then think about it. The video please hasn't finished my it. Son. Hasn't finished it. Please, please where is he? Where's my son? <laughs> this isn't part of the deal. Oh, okay. You're gonna stay here till the end. Oh, okay. Like, comment and do, do subscribe so that my son can come back to me. Please.